Dudes need to grow up and stop looking for sex. When you see females, you're supposed to see a wife and her not sex. Stop being weak. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, that's not even biologically practical. Men need to absolutely look to women for sex as it is one of the components that can make and break a relationship. Sex is extremely important and, if biblically, it is one of the things that constitutes marriage. You said when you see females, you're supposed to see a wife and her not sex. Being sexual is one of the primary components of being a wife. Do you know how dangerous a sexless marriage is to men? Physically, psychologically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally. Lack of sex inside of a relationship can prompt a man to even spend his money irresponsibly. And money is one of the primary reasons that people get divorced. Do you know what it does to a man emotionally? To be trapped in a sexless marriage if you are bound by the state has driven men to suicide. A man is not weak if he looks for sex inside of women. As a matter of fact, he's actually pretty strong if he does so. Not to mention, who else he gonna have sex with? While I agree that a wife should embody many more characteristics, sex is at the top of the list of things a woman needs to give inside of a relationship with a man. That is, if she wants it to succeed. Ask any prostitute, a sexless marriage is one of the reasons they stay in business. A man that is not being sexually fulfilled inside of a relationship will literally risk his sexual safety. That's not weak. That's the need for a sexual release that we are genetically predisposed to. Ask any man. If not sexually active, they can still have wet dreams. In other words, without his conscious sexual permission, his body will tell him it's time for a release. And yes, I agree semen retention is actually good, but only up to a point. Not having a sexual release can result in many things, namely blue balls, but even that, over time, can compound itself into other health matters. It's like eating food and being constipated. Absolutely not. Your body needs to consume, digest, and release the things that it has eaten. Another form of release. Shit, you gotta release emotions. Too many emotions bottled up at one time will release in one of two things, explosion or implosion. In other words, you'll take it out on yourself or you'll take it out on somebody else. Both are detrimental. Now, if what you meant by this statement is that they need to look at women for other things outside of sex because sex will eventually come, then I agree. Eventually come. <laughs> Apologies, ladies. That was a bit inappropriate. But looking for sex is not something a man can turn off. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing we think about when we meet a woman. We look her in the face, up and down, and the first thing we think to ourselves is, damn, I can't wait to feel what sex will be like with her. That don't make us perverts, that just makes us simply attracted. Conversely, we can have sex with a woman that doesn't have any characteristics of being a wife, and guess what? Sex don't mean shit then. And I'm saying that it won't mean shit lightly. In other words, it don't take much for us to be sexually attracted to a woman. And then after we get over that initial attraction, which doesn't last very long at all, because we already want it and we know that, we're really looking for the other things that would make a relationship succeed. But if we're not sexually attracted to a woman, we don't give a shit about any of that other crap. We render that particular lady undesirable and we move on to the next until we find one. Wanting sex is not weak. Acting like you don't want it is. Bars.